Groom Lake, Nevada. The early 1980s, the few people allowed to work at Area 51 have seen some strange things. They've seen spy planes that fly at the edge of space. They've seen captured Soviet megs, but nothing prepared them for this. It looked like a rectangular box with wings stapled to it. Some called it the whale, others called it the alien school bus. It was ugly, it was aerodynamically unstable, and it was one of the most important aircraft ever built. Because this goofy-looking machine wasn't designed to look good, it was designed to be invisible. Welcome to Shadow Works. Today we open the file on Tacit Blue, the secret project that proved you didn't need to look like a fighter jet to disappear from radar. To understand why Tacit Blue looked so weird, you have to understand the state of stealth in 1978. At the time, the only stealth plane was the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. It was revolutionary, but it had a problem. It was made of flat, jagged panels. It looked like a flying diamond. Why? Because 1970s computers weren't powerful enough to calculate how radar bounced off curved surfaces. So engineers had to use flat ones. It worked for stealth, but it was terrible for aerodynamics. The Air Force needed a next generation of stealth. They needed planes that were smooth, curved, and aerodynamic like the future B-2 bomber or F-22 fighter. But they didn't know if it was possible to make curves stealthy. They needed a test dummy, a technology demonstrator. Northrop got the contract. Their mission, build a plane with curved surfaces that is invisible to radar from the front, the side, and below. The result was tacit blue. It was a bizarre design. It had a rounded rectangular fuselage. The jet engines were buried deep inside the body, breathing through a single, flush intake on the top to hide the fan blades from radar. It had a V-tail shielded by the wide body. Aerodynamically, it was a disaster. It was completely unstable. No human pilot could fly it. It required a massive, quadruple redundant digital fly-by-wire system just to keep it flying straight. It was a flying brick held in the air by computers. So what was this ugly thing built to do? It wasn't a bomber. Its mission was battlefield surveillance. The plan was for Tacit Blue to fly right up to the front lines of a war in Europe. It would loiter over the battlefield, unseen, and use its own powerful radar to track thousands of Soviet tanks and missile launchers on the ground. This was incredibly dangerous. To see the enemy, you have to turn.